how can Shakespeare possibly be conceived of as Indian? He's a man who comes from another culture, another time, seemingly another way of thinking. But I want to talk today about the ways in which, counterintuitively, Shakespeare and Bollywood have an extraordinary affinity, one that we have been trained not to see, partly because we receive Shakespeare, thanks to Thomas Macaulay and the legacy of the British Empire, as the exemplar of high literature. And Bollywood, no matter how much we like it, is something that we've been conditioned to cringe about when we talk about it at the level of sophistication, nuance, etc. My argument is that if Shakespeare was alive today, he'd be writing not for theatre, but for cinema. And he wouldn't be writing for Hollywood, but for Bollywood. It's important to remember, ye admi hamari desh se aata hai. The biggest screenplay writer in Bollywood now, as many of you know, is Shakespeare. And this has been going on for quite some time, since Angur in the, uh, the early 80s, up to the more recent and probably criminally unsung film, Denim and Love. How many of you have even heard of it? It's a brilliant adaptation of A Midsummer Night's Dream. That it features uh, uh, not lovers in Athens, but in Mumbai, and the Oberon character is played by Rajat Kapoor here. Uh, his name is Ghalib, and he's a street apothecary uh, who sells a version of the love juice that drives all the lovers uh, crazy in Shakespeare's original. Then we've got uh, Vishal Bhardwaj's uh, famed trilogy, starting with Makbul, the gangster version of Macbeth set in Mumbai, uh, to the bandit uh, UP, Badlands version of Othello, Omkara, and most recently, Shahid Kapoor is surprising everyone by showing he can actually act. So why is Shakespeare so popular in Hindi cinema? And one can come up with all sorts of skeptical, even cynical explanations that Bollywood will do anything to put a fig leaf over its inescapable badness. And Shakespeare is the equivalent of cultural deodorant it can spray over itself. If you look historically at uh, the development of Hindi cinema, there is an intriguing missing link that actually connects back to Shakespeare. And that's the Parsi theater of uh, Bombay in the late 19th and early 20th century. The Parsi theater was multilingual, highly melodramatic, uh, and it consisted both of indigenous stories, but also adaptations of uh, Western pot boilers, in particular Shakespeare. And many of the elements that we associate now with Shakespeare became part of uh, Parsi theatre, and then, as Parsi theatre morphed into the talkies and became Hindi cinema, became part of the DNA of Bollywood. And the part of Bollywood that we have learned to cringe most at is, in fact, the most Shakespearean part. Completely random interruptions for song and dance routines that have nothing to do with the rest of the story. All these Shakespearean elements that have survived into Hindi cinema can be summed up by one word. Masala.